Hi, friends. Hello. Oh. All right. So. Push it. Push it. Give me a disclaimer. Burm, 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 Is everybody burm. here okay with strong language? Fuck yes. no. Oh, yeah. That... <laughs> Message clear. <laughs> I meant to ask uh, that. Let's see. Who are we missing in uh, Tabletop? I think. You're missing Rush? Got... No, yeah, Rush is not here. Yeah, because there's seven of us, right? Yeah, okay. We'll Rush, do you need Rush. help getting in? James, I have my own office at my new job. That's awesome. That's it's crazy so cool. nice. It's super nice. It was my first day to today today. Can you guys Please. hear me? There we go. Yeah, we is, is, is that right, you? Cool. I had to, to take a... the push to talk. Yes. Bill Dozer, is that a picture of you next to a woodchuck? Uh, yeah, with a shirt that says blow me. That was at Magstock 1. That's amazing. <laughs> Guys, I think I'm in here. It says Bulldozer, Hatrix. All right. It shows everybody here. Pick a place yeah, to sit. Uh, yeah, you have to click a color because right now you're spectating. Oh. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, and then it'll give you a seat fun. at the table. Click uh, a color? Yep. Yeah, click circle. any one of the colors and it'll it'll put you at the table uh, in a chair, so to speak. Yeah, my uh, my bad. I'm Mar Marius for fun is Bulldozer. Bulldozer is Marius for fun. It is. Yeah. Oh, change color. Oh, okay. Well, so yeah, I, uh, Itari's going to do some intros before we play. Did it work oh. or no? You're not no. sitting down. Uh, no. I think you have to actually sit, like, click on the side of the table that's empty that doesn't have it, a name on it. Yeah, it, it should be like a colored circle. Oh, there, there you go. go. Oh, there you go. Now, now All, right. All right. Cool. I'm pink. Cool. Got it. There What's you up? go. Two in the pink. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'll, I'll, figure, hey, I'll figure this out. 100%. Uh, like, well, we, we got it here. now. You look like Than Thanos in a nice orange shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what it looks all right so um let's see here real quick introductions uh for for uh, melchior and sinistar uh bill dozer i've known for years from magfest um mm -hmm. he's the reason we would get the sweets all the time like that is all his doing and that's the reason we were able to play sellouts the first time in the there was so much reason. fun with you guys that was so much fun i remember bill dozer and Hatrix, I've known for God, 15 years now. Uh, he used to be, uh, he lived right down the road from our uh, land center and went to school right across the street. And he, we would see each other every day for like two, three years while our land center was open. And he's badass at first-person shooter games. Would always kick our ass and and uh, cool guy. Known him for years. Um, Melchior the Maker is one of the founders, one of the creators of of sellouts and we just did Hello, a everybody. 45 oh, nice. minute uh talk about them so i'm not gonna go too much into them right now uh <laughs> look up the vod afterwards <laughs> yeah. guys uh chavix i've known him for 10 years now uh we've worked together and then uh found out each other was gamers and next thing you know uh we hang out all the time and we're like best friends and with a capital y that's right <laughs> Gamers. Gamers. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was literally thinking about making a joke just like that. <laughs> I think we're gonna get along great. Yes. Uh, well, hey, is there um is there a link to this stream? Is this just on your Twitch, James? Or I'll try to signal boost it. Uh, Twitch Twitch.tv slash Sinistar three. Or um you can have him go to the through the um the Oshucks. Oshucks um, one. Oshucks dot right. show slash hall five. I, I can Hey uh, I'm I, I yeah, James, could you link that you. real quick? Yeah. Okay, cool, yeah. I've I've properly prepared to be comical on the internet, so brain Understood. functions me medium. <laughs> Understood. Perfect. I'll message you directly. Yeah, because you can you can actually yeah, you can like chat in the Twitch chat and, and view the, the Twitch right through the um Alshak's website, which is cool. perfect. Oh uh Bulldozer, is that a bottle of hot sauce? <laughs> uh, it's a bottle of woodchuck cider. Oh. Yeah, that's that's their traditional amber. Oh, oh nice! You can't find right that down here in Virginia anymore, dude. It's just like it just disappeared. Oh, yeah. that's sad. How does it feel to live in hell? Uh, if we ever you, hey, listen, dude, if we ever you, meet in person sometime, I'll bring you some. Dude, you don't understand. Like, so <laughs> yeah, my word. So the first six, the first six mag stocks every year, I brought one to three kegs of woodchuck. Yeah, and like the first dude, like it's so five, good. I lived on that in college. Word. The first gotcha, five rush. mag fest at the Gaylord, I had a keg of woodchuck with me every year. We smuggled it into the fucking hotel. We wrapped it up in a sleeping bag and told him it was speakers. <laughs> I swear to God, <laughs> I'm the slyest fuck in the world. 
I had a full kitchen in the Gaylord. I, dude, I had a full kitchen in the Gaylord every single Mag Christmas oh, wow. X until last year. Hey, Muggle it all in. What are humans but that's speakers? A, a, and what nice, is Woodchuck uh, but social nice media? Right there, man. Absolutely. And then uh, we got just this... medicine, man. I just gotta get my medicine to the room. We got yeah, this uh, jerk face Itari. We ain't gonna talk about him. Uh, oh, fuck that guy. Rush rushed into it. Uh, I've know him through hat hat tricks um actually getting to know him he's a badass uh, first person shooter gamer uh he's he streams um plays a lot of different things and the great thing about like rush he's very willing to try games like this like he's a lot of times pe people that are like super into first person shooters like that's all they're willing to play but rush has always been open to trying just about anything most definitely Appreciate just about that. anything so Impressed as hell. Get out about that. Uh, Sinistar is another one of the uh, co-founders, creators of the game we are about to play. So Sinistar, fuck that guy. Fuck. Yeah, I'm sitting across the table <laughs> from him so I can look at his beautiful mug. All right. So, uh, what what are the official rules? Like, how how who's the first person to be the customer? Is like the oldest person, the mm. youngest oh, person? It's, it's whoever most recently purchased something. Ooh. And and can you know within reason? Like, don't lie. Obviously. I I got like food on the way something. to my house. It's being delivered in like 15 minutes. <laughs> I I bought ice cream at 7:30 p.m. Eastern time. Somebody hold my hand. I but purchased I Alien me. Isolation from the Epic Store less than an hour ago. Ooh, all right, I'm, I'm beat. All right, I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking. I'm looking up the time for the for the, for the pizza I ordered. All right, yeah, I say please, Bill. Please, please update everyone with your pizza order time. All right, uh, I say Bill. Well, I said like I ordered it 30 minutes ago. You did. I believe him. I think Bill goes win. first. <laughs> I think that's it. All right. I'd be like, like it'll be here in five minutes. Four, three. <laughs> <laughs> I got the driver on camera. <laughs> All right, so uh, Dozer is going to be the customer first. Um, <laughs> Everybody did you draws. Shuffle all the decks? I have not, but it's. I did. Yeah. All right. Per perfect. I mean, that's fine. It's not that it's important. Exactly. Especially our first time playing. Because you able to. Yeah. All right. So if, well, each one of us wants to draw five. Oh, I was gonna say. I was gonna say if we want to, we could have cards. one person deal the hands for everybody. Or we could each do it ourselves. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oops. <laughs> all right. Hold on. Hold on. This, this, it. this was on the pod. You said five okay. of each card or yep. five of the uh, white ones? Three white, five black. Oh. Okay. I've always read. So three product cards, five feature cards. If you hover over the deck, it'll say the name as well. Okay. Three, three of these and then what else? Three of the white product cards and five of the black feature cards. Got it. So you, you will have eight cards in your hand when you're done. Won't let me. Oh, oh my gosh. Freaking cards. That's why I just took the whole deck. I'm so that, I, that's part of the tabletop oh. simulator experience. That's right. Two, three. No, no, five black, two white. Um, and three it, black. it might look like everyone can see what's in your hand, but uh, if you if you're experienced with it, mine all. Uh, I can only see the back only of the card. see what's in your hand. You should be able to see what's in your hand only. So, Bill, you can also draw. Go ahead and draw. I see. No. Also of note, if you hold the Alt key and look at a card, it will like give you like a nice zoomed in. Yeah, just showing me the backs um, of the cards in my hand. All right, real quick house yeah. rule: like Select it's gonna get loud. And it, flips over. it is gonna okay. get loud. Try your best not to too much interrupt. Try your best, but it's gonna get loud. It's gonna get voracious, and nobody's feelings are allowed to get hurt tonight. All right. <laughs> okay, I, I think I'm confused though. So I have five, five black. Three white, yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. Yep. yep. Alright. Okay. You're good to go. And then so Dozer. What's gonna happen is Bill Dozer is going to flip over his problem and tell us what his problem is. Mm -hmm. And each of us is going to put down it'll be face down at first until it's our turn. But we're gonna we're gonna build a product that will solve his problem. So we'll put down one product card, one feature card, both of those face down, and then we'll grab another feature card from the feature deck in the center. And put that next to your pitch face down. And when it's your turn, you're going to flip over the cards and explain to the customer, uh, Bulldozer, why your product is the best product and here's why, including the random feature that you couldn't account for. Bet. 
<laughs> okay. And then when we're done, um, when we're done, you'll draw back up to three white cards. So, so I had to go through my hand and flip over each one individually to be able to see them. Yeah, uh, you can yeah. flip them all up in your hand. Yeah, if you've ever played like a real-time strategy game, you can like click and draw a rectangle over all of them. Oh. Uh, and flip okay. them all at once. Gotcha. But when I place them down, are they going to be face up or face down? Uh, they'll be face up unless you flip them with F. So I gotta flip so like, them before I put yeah, them down. Yeah, so like whichever one you're going to put down, flip it with F and then drag it out in front of you. Gotcha. And that's pretty much the gist. And then Bulldozer is going to decide, like once we've all presented our products, he's going to decide which one he thinks best solves his problem. And they're going to win one almighty dollar, which is on the back of the problem card. And then they will become uh, the next... Um, customer uh customer and right. uh and and we'll keep we'll keep going around so let's start with uh hat tricks yeah, all right he's got this guys so or do you want somebody to give you an example no no, no oh, we, i get we, it we need uh, to hear the problem what's yeah the problem, i haven't man? given you the problem <laughs> yeah what's Bill your Dozer. problem man Bill Dozer, what's up man i words correct i can't <laughs> order input <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I think that's a disorder. Right? I've well, never seen says. this card. I've never seen this card. That's 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 uh there are some cards in here that are not in the final printed version. That's so awesome. I Neither. I do one white and one black. That is one of the problem cards that exists only in tabletop simulator. All right, so yeah. Billy, Billy, so, go ahead and you do it first and give us and show us how it's done. You're so fantastic at it. You want me to throw down a product and a feature, and then you draw a, a random feature. feature. All right. So, what I have for you, Bill, I, I'm understanding your problem. I, I know what you said was you can't speak words in the correct order. Now, uh, what we have is a genuine, guaranteed solution. <laughs> what I've shown you here is a solution. It is going to be the solution for you, Mr. Dozer. I can tell you without a, a single moment of doubt or hesitation that this solution is very soothing now <laughs> not being able to communicate can be very discombobulating it makes life stressful um there's no way to get the the feeling you need conveyed without communication um with this very soothing solution let's see what this says this very soothing solution contains lead. That means it is going to protect you from bullets and Superman. So, <laughs> Mr. Dozer, I need you to know that with this very soothing solution, not only will you be able to communicate with your fellow gamers, but we can get you communicating with some pussy as well. Um, <laughs> again, Superman will not be able to take this pussy from you. Uh, for your consideration, Mr. Dozer, my solution. Man, heart knows. I, I am ready to present as well. Normally, uh, so normally you would present around a circle clockwise to the left, but it usually like whoever's ready can just. Absolutely. Hatrix, are you ready? Um, uh, I'm ready if Hatrix is not, but I'm not if Hatrix ready. is ready, go for, go, it. go for it, Melchior. All right, all right. So, all right, cool. So, I words correct to the can't order input. Completely relatable in 2021, I get it. Um, he's offering you a solution. He said contains lead, protects you from Superman. No, no, no. Superman protects other people from lead. That's how that works. <laughs> um, that sounds like a faulty product. I would get a refund on that. Uh, but what I can offer you is a phone of average intelligence. And you might be thinking, oh no, it's not a smartphone. It can't autocorrect words for me and help me put words in the correct uh, order. But don't worry, it's a smart device. <laughs> Now the cool thing about this secretly smart. smartphone, and like you can show it to like dads who like, oh, I tried smartphones, but now I went back to a regular phone. You can bond over what those dads think is a regular phone, but you know it's secretly a smart device. And the the extra cool thing, oops, I'm rotating this the wrong way, uh, is that this phone doesn't respect you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so. It, so like where you might want your speech to be perfect and you might trust your smartphone to make your speech perfect, it won't respect you 100% of the time. So like every now and then it's going to put your words in the wrong order and your friends are just going to be like, oh, that's definitely him that I'm talking to. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Hey, Hatrix. So uh, yes. you only want to use one of your features because the second feature is going to be random out of the main deck. Oh, so okay. that way you can't prepare for what's to come. 
You have to yeah, on I just, the, on I, the fly. I didn't know that doesn't respect you was going to pull out and uh, sure. Ch Shovix didn't know <laughs> Which that. is it's like cool. exactly the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I did like that I got a phone of average intelligence. And that was a smart also smart. The same yeah. Is there any way so, we can see what Bulldozer's card says? Yep. Yeah, Scroll you gotta over press it. Alt. Hold Alt over top of it. Hold Alt. Okay. Ah, I yeah, it gives you like a nice can't little preview of the word. I words correct. And you can do that on your card as well to make them bigger. Got it. Or any card, I guess. You mm -hmm. can do that too. Anything I'm ready like to it. present. Go for it, Hatrix. All right, let's see what we got here. So I flip it up as I talk about it. Is that correct? Sure. Yep. Okay, cool. Whatever you want to do. So, Bulldozer, it seems like you're having a hard time communicating. And from what I've learned with people that can't communicate well, <laughs> the only thing that you really need is a katana. <laughs> Katana don't care if people understand you or not. Katana don't, Katana, Katana don't give a fuck. So, uh, you know, they don't have to understand you. And the best part about this Katana is you don't need no friends because it will go around and constantly like all your online posts, regardless of context. So that's the only friend you need is your Katana and you. Damn. And then I got a, and then I grab a black card. Uh huh. Yep. Uh, yeah, right off the top. Right, I... right click and draw. Shit. Uh, just like a draw. quick, a quick yeah, draw. Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. Yeah, just pull it quick. Yeah, if you hold it too long, you'll grab the entire deck. But if you okay, do it okay. quick, it'll it'll grab the top card. <laughs> Is this flipped over? Yep, we can see uh, it. Yep, we can see it. Says, okay. yep, yep. Oh yeah, if you, if you if you if you like click it and then use your scroll wheel, it'll rotate it. Gotcha. So uh, the katana also works remotely, meaning that you can katana people from a distance, which is great uh. because. If you're unsocial, you just kill everybody. <laughs> At the end. Don't Winning. need no words if everybody's dead. That's right. That's strong. That's strong. Sean. What so you need <laughs> is a katana. Piece of shit. All right. All Let's right. See what you're doing. So, so Dozer, <laughs> the words that are coming out. Of, can you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? No, nobody can understand <gasps> the words coming out of your mouth. What you need. What you need uh. is a hall monitor, all right? Now, here's the crazy thing about this hall monitor. This hall monitor is the best wingman in the world. So when nobody can understand the words coming out of your mouth, he will translate for you, okay? He will, tra he will translate for you in any language that he speaks. I don't know how many that is. It doesn't matter, but he'll translate for you anytime. Anywhere he'll he'll even talk to women for you, okay? So Damn. it doesn't matter. That's it doesn't cool. matter if the words coming out of your mouth nobody can understand because he will. He is such a good wingman. He will talk to the ladies for you, and on top of that, on top of that, it cannot be used unless the user is alone. <laughs> so the great <laughs> news. <laughs> Oh, man, <laughs> that was like the only card that would have to. <laughs> Listen, it's that Tinder, was... Tinder only. That's right. Tinder only. So, so <laughs> you don't have to be lonely. So, uh, you don't have you. You will forever be. You can't use the wingman unless you're alone. But you'll never be alone because the wingman will always be with you. So, it really doesn't matter. You will always be together. That's all I'm saying. Like, like catch twenty two. That's right. <laughs> I mean, the I mean, the man's paradox. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Rush, give it to us, bro. All um, right, man. So look here, bulldozer. I need you to understand. I got the exact solution that's here for you today. I hope you would just take a couple moments out of your busy schedule to now, let me help you align your your order here, okay? Uh, so the first thing you need to understand is that my company, we come at you strong. We come at you hard, rock hard. And we're endorsed <laughs> by Fabio, okay? Do you know who Fabio is? It doesn't matter what language you speak. You understand beautiful, right? You understand attractive, right? You understand that he's going to make sure that he sells your product when he's standing up there in his G-string. What? Size only. <laughs> All right. So not only... Does it come endorsed by Fabio? But we also got F, something else for F you. Flip it. Super special. It will not turn over. Okay. We accept all of our charges via USB. 
<laughs> oh, that's a new one, Sean. Now, yeah. now, hear me out, okay? A lot of people are wondering why not PayPal, why not this, why not that, okay? Listen, this is untraceable, okay? No one will ever have to know what's going on. They will not be able to invade your privacy. They will not be able to know what's, you know, what's going on here or hers, you know what I mean? So you do your thing and you just let us handle the rest, okay? So you pop in, pop out, one-stop transaction. The beautiful of it all, I mean, no matter where you are in the world, you can't go wrong with a private island. That speaks for itself, right? Right, okay? No one cares what you're saying or how you're saying it or what order you're saying it in or what you look like or what you wear when you own your own goddamn private island. So come on over here to Amen. Rush Enterprises where we can help you get shit straight. Damn. <laughs> hey, right. man, I f can I fold? <laughs> nah, we gotta hear it. Pitch us. Pitch us. Right. It was that. I'll, good, I'll try huh? to make my pitch pretty quick. Uh, so we've heard a lot of good pitches here today. A lot of things that you know maybe they'll solve your problem. But uh, I think we all know that your problem is kind of like the hiccups. And so in order to solve this problem, we're gonna scare you <laughs> with a stylish hat. I know what you're thinking. Stylish hat, That's not me. very scary. But guess what? <laughs> it turns into spiders. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, you weren't expecting that. Now you're frightened, and you can talk properly. <laughs> and uh, and just in case you're worried about like, well, I don't want this to be a one-time hat. It's stylish. I like the look of it. It's a Swiss Army stylish hat. So it's got all kinds of useful things on it, and you could just you wear it wherever, and it's you always got the right tool on you. There. There is nothing nice. to fear but fear itself. Well, for and spiders. spiders. But he's always prepared for spiders with a Swiss army knife. <laughs> so, bulldozer, make your decision. Just remember, I have a katana. Yes, bulldozer. What product did you have a think private solved it the best? Well, first off, James got the quote wrong. The quote is, "There's nothing to fear but fear itself," and stairs. <laughs> Horrible fucking stairs. <laughs> My arch nemesis <laughs> stairs. stairs. <laughs> Why did it have to be stairs? <laughs> oh my god. What's uh, the verdict, Bill Dozer? What do you think? And I want a private island. Ooh. I do too, honestly, yeah, after, so. after yeah, hearing yeah, Rush the talk rush, about it. The rush plus, the plus being able to pay via USB sounds dope as hell. <laughs> but I'm giving you a literal Just... solution. I don't want. I don't want heavy metal. <laughs> I was like, I was like, wait, did Bill Dozer take your product? You know, you put it over there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what you do is now rush. Rush now is the proud owner of the here, mighty I'll make dollar a, bill. I'll make a discard pile for our, <clears throat> our previous products here, and then we'll do we'll do a discard next to it for the uh, features. And then you'll want to draw back up to three white and five black. And then whoever won that one, which I believe was Rush, <laughs> um, Sean, goddamn you! I can see your little white hand. What's a quick way of moving, ar moving around in my menu? Uh, the white yeah. cards are the. <laughs> on. It's on stream. You're, you, you've been caught white handed. Um, uh, Rush will be the new uh, customer. We'll, we'll, we'll play that way. You, you can play that way or you can go like clockwise, but. Gotcha. Um, it's, a, it's a little more balanced. Yeah, I'm, I like the winner, you know. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Because then, then the winner gets to take a break and be like, ah, yes. Now I get to judge after being relish, <laughs> yeah, yeah. relish in your victory. Uh, exactly, right. exactly. All right. Hey, just to talk about the game design a little bit, Rush did a thing that uh, always surprises me whenever we play this with new people. He used a card in a way that I never expected it. Yeah. Yeah, the charge fee USB, that was magnificent. Thank you. Yeah. Because you yeah, would think I, he I would wouldn't... say, oh, the, this this makes the device charge. But no, he used the device, the, the USB to charge, like cryptocurrency kind of thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Like, I'll never forget the one time we were playing it, I think, Gen Con, and someone played the car, the product that was a ring. And, like, we had envisioned, you know, like a, a ring that goes on your finger. Uh-huh. Or maybe, like, a circus ring or something like that. And they just go, no, 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 it's a phone call. Ooh. Like, oh. <laughs> Like nice. I, I love do, I love it when they do shit like that. Do I draw a new white and a new black now? Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Make sure you're always at eight uh, between okay. each round. So you need three white, five red, five black, yep. five red. Yep. If you're colorblind, they're red. <laughs> yeah, they're colorblind. <laughs> well, depending on your type of colorblindness, I have no idea. All right. 
Rush, like give us your problem. Different types of colorblindness. Okay, so question: How mm -hmm. do I draw it? Right click is one uh -huh. way, and then there's a button that says draw, or you can just quickly yeah. just left click and drag just, it off the drag top it off real quick real in a quick uh, motion. Got it. All right, cool. Here we go. So my problem is, I've been informed that the planet is going. <laughs> I've been informed that the planet is going to flood, and I have to build an ark. Get your hands off it. We can't read it when your hands are on top of it. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I'm hold, hold all. If you hold all, you'll always be able to read it. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Oh, oh, oh do I? Right. I have to build an ark. Oh, shit. How do I want to play this? I have some good ones. All right. Mm. I'm. Oh, sorry. I just dealt one to everybody. Oop, that's fine. I will put it back. Oh damn! I don't know which one it was. Should we grab a? Uh, put put a... your uh, sixth black card back if you have one. Damn. That man. that was an accidental. Because uh... you you can right click one, draw, two, but if you accidentally four, five, hit six. deal, it deals one to everybody. Oh okay. Yeah. Can so I just was, drop it on there? Do I have to turn it over and stuff? Uh, f here I, I got it. Yeah. Okay. Flip if you flip it down. and like put it like pretty close to the center, it'll usually like automatically fuse with the deck. There we go. All right. All right. I'm pretty much ready to go. Go for it, bro. Yeah, so uh, you have to. The world is gonna flood, and you've been told you have to build an ark. Well, I say that's a childish way to go about it. What I have for you, the pinnacle, the pinnacle of modern technology, the freeze ray. Now, <laughs> you might be wondering what kind of freeze ray this is, and I will tell you, it's the kind that freezes water. And uh, you know, arcs they're used for crossing over water. If you just freeze the water, you don't have to worry about floating on it, right? Right. Now, uh, you might be thinking, well, freeze ray, that would make the water cold, and then I have to stand on a cold surface and probably be cold for the rest of my life. Not entirely true, because this freeze ray also flies like the wind. <laughs> so you also have air travel, so you can hover above the water, looking for dry land or what have you. And then, it's also abnormally normal. This is your common everyday freeze ray that you can get at the supermarket. You, you know, you don't have to worry about like weird features or anything like that. It's a perfectly normal freeze ray uh, that flies. That's right. Thank you for your, your yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> Good to go. Does are you ready? Like I was born ready. Let's do it. All right. So my man. Uh, so you you talking to big guy upstairs? He says it's gonna rain. You got to build an ark. Okay. Uh, you know, what are you going to do? You're just going to do all that shit by hand? You're going to drag all that shit all over the place by hand? <laughs> Hell no. I got you a motherfucking truck. A <laughs> motherfucking truck. <laughs> <laughs> right? You can get your lumber. You can get your nails. You can pick up like six Latino guys at fucking Lowe's and have them help you build this shit. We got you set. And you know what's so great about this goddamn truck? It can be used telepathically, bro. Ooh, you don't oh, even have to be in it. Just drives itself. Tells you what you tell it to go pick up your shit. You make yourself a sandwich. You know what else it has? <laughs> you know what else it has, man? It has some shit that's upside down. I can't read. Hold on. It has. It's also vaguely offensive. But you know what? You're building art, so they can get fucked if they're offended. <laughs> <laughs> get, off get off my ark. You don't like this? You yeah. find this truck offensive? You're going to find this ark offensive, bitch, while you're floating. Have a nice day. <laughs> have a nice Damn. fucking day. Telepathic like truck that's gonna tell him to fuck off. Hey man, <laughs> that's, I like it. that was good. That was good. I was impressed. Very impressed. Very oh, good. All right, Hatrix. All right, it's on me. It's on you. All right, so you got an arc, and all of humanity's being wiped out. It plants, animals, whatever. You're gonna have some problems, right? There's yeah. gonna be a lot of problems, and you want to tackle those problems one at a time. Now, one problem you might not even have thought of. It's a problem that we hear every day. The question that everybody asks, but nobody has the answer for. But you will have the answer because you started from square one. You started the beginning of it all or the new beginning. And that answer is, what came first, the chicken or the egg? And you will have an egg. And you'll be able to say, the egg came fucking first. Now, there's only one problem with the egg. And that is you can only use it once because it's a fucking egg. And what else are you going to do? You can't, you got to eat it once, whatever, but you'll have it and you'll show them. You'll say, this is the first thing that came. The chicken will come later. All right. 
sorry, Sean's gonna make me pee my pants. <laughs> and, and it's a one time use, but the best part about this egg is it can clone itself. So oh, you God. use it once, you clone it, and then you use the next one, something like that. You probably want to clone it before you use it once, or else <laughs> you kind of don't get to use it again. So keep that in mind. But you'll always have the egg to show everybody this came first. Yeah, not the, egg the fucking chicken. First. Be like an egg cocky. And then when the chicken hatches out of the egg, you can just kick that fucker along because you're gonna have another egg. <laughs> no, you say that again. <laughs> what did you play? <laughs> what is so worried funny? About, worried about the egg coming first. It's gonna come first all over your face. <laughs> Like not, a what? Not nice egg uniform. Cock egg. Egg cock egg. <laughs> egg cock egg. Wait, did you oh, play a sound egg. effect or something? He I don't hear it. Cock. He said egg cocky and I'm over here fucking crying, <laughs> you guys. Uh, uh. Uh, These yeah, tell-outs in inspiring people to invent new words. That's like right. Egg cocky. That's, That's what I got. Coming, coming to sell-outs after dark. Lo loved it. <laughs> 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 the sellouts too, Electric Boogaloo ex expansion, a cocky <laughs> <more. laughs> <Cocky> expansion. <laughs> For when mom and dad go to bed. All right, Melchior, give it to us. Right. Give it to us straight. So, all right, so give it to us hard. So listen, uh, so building an arc. All right, that's really fucking expensive. Um, no one's got the time or money for that. You know, it's it's absurd. You know, uh, fucking Noah went down to the Home Depot and he had to buy all that lumber. And, like, I mean, like, think about it nowadays. Lumber, lumber prices are out of control. And that's just unacceptable. So what I offer you to help is a $15 gift card. <laughs> now, this is a $15 gift card to Lowe's. So you could go to Lowe's and use that $15 towards, like, one 2 by 4 Which would help, you know with the price of your arc that you're building. So that's, that's really handy. But the best part, God damn it, Sean, stop messing up my hand. The, it's distracting me. The best part about this $15 gift card is not the fact that it's $15, but the after effect. You see, they ask you when you're done, they're like, do you want to keep your gift card? And normally you say like, no, throw that shit away. It's worthless plastic. But in this case, you're going to keep it because this gift card ensures safe travel, no matter the transportation. So this arc, no matter how shitty you build it, it will get you safely through the flood. Even with this one two buckle. <laughs> you know, like, literally, literally, just literally a way to physically manifest thoughts and prayers. Literally, if your arc is a two by four, you will survive. I guarantee, as long as you have this fifteen dollar gift card in your pocket, you are golden, my friend. I was gonna say I this sounds like a more. bad infomercial. Yeah, and, 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 two by four and what what makes sense <laughs> is that this fifteen dollar gift card does defy the laws of thermodynamics. Of course it does. This shit, yeah, it, it runs on thoughts and prayers. I'm telling you, bro, you are selling the shit out of that. So, like, what seems like a paltry fifteen dollar gift card is actually maybe the best investment in your life. Oh, oh my God cheeks, y'all. My cheeks. He's insane. <laughs> Listen, we're hearing Atari talk about his cheeks. This man's trying to give you a piece of plastic telling you you're going to get safe <laughs> from an entire world-ending flood. See, this is a divine piece of plastic. I don't know why plastic. everybody here keeps referring to you as some type of second coming of Noah. Noah had his own problems. You're not going to spend waste your time, energy, and effort trying to get every animal on some stupid-ass boat. What I have for you right here is an ink pen what you need is a plan <laughs> and rush my brother i know you are the man to come up with a plan you're going to take this ink pen this very ink pen that can change colors at will and draw out the perfect plan for how to escape this flood earth is a fucking failure god messed up at the start we don't even need this rock anymore you're going to leave on your very own spaceship that you designed with this ink pen you're going to take off to brand new heights and build us a whole new civilization somewhere else now, another wonderful thing about this pen, it fires mace at attackers. So when you get to Mars and <laughs> you motherfuckers want to fuck with your spaceship, they will get maced immediately. So they will know that Rush will rush right in and get it done. Now, the rest of these motherfuckers can sit down because we know what you're going to go with. Listen, first things first. All you do is strap fucking mace to that five color Clicko pen we all had in kindergarten for free, bitch. Can that like, pen clone itself? Just wondering. Not cloning itself. It can change colors at will. That means you don't have to press all of them at the same time like you did with the click pen when we were in high school. That's not. I did thing. that for fun. 
<laughs> uh, you gotta impersonate the guy from Goldeneye. You gotta click your pen. There you go. I am Boris, the invincible. I am Boris, the sneaky fucking Russian. <laughs> All right. No. All right. So here's the th here's the here's what everybody else has been selling. Bill, those are they've been selling you on you doing this damn thing your damn self. I'm not going to want to rush. You know, the, the crazy thing is they, they've been trying to put you to work. And I don't know about you, but we got better shit to do than build a damn ark. So what okay. we're going to do is we're going to get other motherfuckers to build it for us. And how we're going to do that. <laughs> That's how it always starts. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> this conversation ended 300 years ago, James. Come on. Oh my god! Wow! I just figured out what you. Oh, wow, that went over it. my head. So oh, no, 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 no. We're gonna need little, to. Little we're gonna need to recruit some motherfuckers to do mm -hmm. this. And who better? To help us out, to find some other people that'll be like, hey, you know what? I want to build this fucking arc for you. We got a cardboard cutout, a cardboard cutout of Nicolas fucking Cage. Cause who? Everybody thinks Nicolas Cage is a badass. Everybody thinks he's cool. Even in his, even in his worst movie, he is still a more of a badass than most people that we know. And the crazy thing is, this cardboard cutout of Nicolas Cage, it's buy one get one free. So. We're gonna be able to recruit twice as many people to help us build this motherfucking ark. All right, and now, ain't it crazy? This shit is undetectable. It is undetectable. So nobody will be able to find, will be able to steal your freaking cardboard cutouts of Nicolas Cage. Your cardboard <laughs> humanity will go unnoticed. Therefore, they will never know that it was you that got them to build the Ark for it. <laughs> this is the Bizarro World Underground Railroad. <laughs> and there's my pitch. I, I need to go home. <laughs> but, can it, but can it clone itself? Yeah, Nicholas can Cage- can you go home in a flood? Nicholas Cage is a cardboard oh, cut out of God. Get in the and, truck. And, and we all know that Duke Nukem is way more badass than Nicholas Cage. Balls of steel. Damn right. Uh, John St. John. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> Balls of steel. Yeah. Sean, where are the rest of my cards, Sean? I, uh, I, I respect all the pitches, but I have made a decision. I'm gonna have to go with the the. I'm gonna have to go with the freeze ray, man. Oh, I like, I like the freeze ray. Oh, man. Yeah. So that, I, I like the freeze ray, man. I, I, thought, I thought it was great. I thought it was great. There we go. If you Thank if you me. had to if you had to pick second place, it was the gift card, right? <laughs> Second, second place would have probably been either Hatch or Atari. It was the egg. <laughs> uh, all right, so the gift card truck. got to go. you lie. Yeah, I can hear it in your voice, man. You want a pickup truck? Pickup truck. Sean, where are the rest of my truck? cards? No, but those Teslas are nice, man. What, He's been day? strangely quiet. Yeah, I honestly oh, don't I... know. <laughs> Sean, I'm missing two uh, feature cards. Where did they go? He's drawing new ones. Oh, no. Okay, but where did the other two go? I don't know where they went. This isn't All some I... like entropy shit where they fade away over time. No, no, I, <laughs> so I just other took the cards. time to take all of your cards and fling them off the table. Wait, wait, and I wait, noticed wait. a few respawned over by uh, Chavix, and then I don't know where they went. <laughs> okay, that's fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is, this fine. is fine. This garbage fire is fine. Which ones have five black, three white, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Right, cool. So, so who? Okay. So, Sinister is the problem giver. I don't know. It's right. my don't problem. My <laughs> problem is the cats keep scratching the furniture. Damn oh, those cats! Damn those cats! Oh, another design note, and I mentioned this earlier in Atari's stream. The problems used to be written uh, written in all caps, indicating that you should read it very excitedly or yell. <laughs> Uh, but we changed that in the release version. Gotcha. The release version also has a nice uh, dyslexic friendly font. The cat's That's also scratching true. the furniture. Um, which is nice. This 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 guy overseas, I think he's I think he's in like the Netherlands or the UK or something. But he designed a font specifically to be uh, more legible for dyslexic people. 
That's oh, wow. cool. So we opted to buy a license of it and use it in sellouts, which he said was a good, which is cool. My cars suck. <laughs> <laughs> so is there, like a, is there a point where we can turn them in and get new ones? You can turn them in and get Ooh. new ones at any time. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, but between rounds, um, if you want to like uh, discard a couple okay, and draw some rounds. new ones, yeah, feel okay. free. Feel free. Right. Um, there's I'll, there's I'll enough cards do. in the deck that that's doable, and it, like yeah. So and I'll make the, do this round. The crazy thing be... is, this is this game. I've had a couple of people be like, "No, I couldn't play this game with my friends because we're too competitive." And I'm like, the the competitiveness of this game is who had the most fun. <clears throat> Right. You know, so exactly. there really there really is no like, oh, you have to have this number of cards and all that kind of stuff. It's perfectly fine. Yeah, I, I mean, in all, in all the games that we played, and I've probably played over uh, 100 at this point uh, with lots of different people, um, I don't think anybody has ever felt incredibly competitive to the point where they they weren't having fun unless they were winning. Yeah, I don't think so, anyone's left the table and been like, I can't believe I didn't fucking win. Right, right, yeah. right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Role playing powers come to me. <laughs> All right. Well, also, you got to think, too. It's not just like just a game. You can use this for like a lot of different things, too. You can use this to brush up on like improv if you're trying to do improv and stuff like that. Just the unpredictableness of the random Absolutely. draw. I'm, I'm picking right? chicks yeah. with these cards. Hey, you know, yeah, Sean, James, perhaps other than businesses, maybe That's we should look great into idea. Uh, improv groups at colleges and stuff. That like is that. a great idea, Bill. That's Send the I challenge have. out. Send the challenge out. Use these cards to pick up girls. There you go. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, send us. Send us a TikTok of you successfully picking up a girl with uh, and a phone number. Yeah. With sellouts cards, and with, we'll give you yep. twenty bucks. I don't that know. would yeah. be awesome. Actually, <laughs> I actually want to try sending out TikToks where I just ask people to solve a problem with an with a thing that's near them, and see if people stitch it. There you go. Ooh. Okay. See, okay. I, All right, I Dozer. A, I was a manager with a Fortune 15 company, and I did a couple sales trainings with this. Did you I really? Was just say I never knew you did that. that. This is actually a great training tool for sales at all. Any any sales. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Is Bill gonna start us off this turn? Dozer, it's on you, bro. I'll yes, I'll, let's talk. I'll let's take talk whoever business. goes first. Let's yeah, talk let's business talk business afterwards. <laughs> let's oh, keep playing the game. Great idea. idea. Let's write that one down, though. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, the the problem is. Steak. <laughs> the problem is my cats keep scratching the furniture. It's, oh, it's God. Sinistar's, that's right. That's right. Sinistar's problem. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so Bill Dozer is up if he's ready. Yeah, I got this. Uh, so I got exactly what the fuck you need. Cats are messing with your furniture. What do you do about these damn cats? That's what you question. do is you grab a big old goddamn jar of jelly and you throw it at that <laughs> fucking cat. <laughs> now here's the deal. I'm on board so far. Here's the deal with this damn this damn jar of jelly, right? Okay. It teaches you to throw something really hard and really fast. You'll be like fucking uh, Brett Farr, just chucking it. <laughs> and you know why? Because this jar will, uh, you know, probably stab you in the back at some point. So you're going to want it fucking far away from you. <laughs> so you're going to get, not only are you getting rid of your cats, you're getting a goddamn multi-million dollar career with the fucking Jets. Nice. Okay. Then what happens once you get those, once you get that, you get a goddamn card that's upside. Ah! Uh, and you know what? This goddamn jar of jelly comes with its own bodyguard. Oh, very nice. Oh, shit. Sounds this, expensive. Is, this is the fucking, this is like fucking P. Diddy of fucking jars of jelly. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to stab you in the back like he did Biggie. Oh. And then he's going to have people protecting you. There's going to be bodyguards around him all the time because it's like, you know, three foot tall. So there you go. Sean Looks Puffy like a Combs. training jar. <clears throat> Sean Puffy Combs. Instead of training day, it's training jelly. jar. <laughs> getting deep tonight. Bad boys for life. Alex, wow. stop fucking with my cards. I don't know what you're talking about. Wow. You did it first. <laughs> All right, Sin. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. You're going to have to beat a jar. So, look. <laughs> easy. I'm going to try my best. It's, it's actually not going to be that easy. Here's the deal. Everybody knows about cats. Cats do whatever the fuck they want. They're in charge, not you, unfortunately. But you wouldn't have a cat unless you love the, unless you love the damn cat. So... It's fucking up your furniture. Here's what you're gonna do. First thing you're gonna do. Oh fuck! Damn it! 
Give me a second. <laughs> you're gonna get yourself a goddamn soy latte. Because there's nothing you can. You're just gonna go. You're gonna treat yourself. Sometimes you gotta treat, treat, yourself. treat yourself. Just yourself. walk away. You know, don't get mad at the cat. Don't harm the cat. Just fucking walk away. You know what I mean? <laughs> Before you do something you're gonna regret, walk away. Go get that soy latte, from Starbucks, whatever. It feels nice and good and fuzzy inside. Might cost, you know, five dollars, but you know it was worth it. You know, well, I'm worried about the cat. You got yourself a soy latte. You're gonna feel it's good about yourself. Latte. He's gonna fuck up the furniture tomorrow, no matter what you do, anyway. So who the fuck cares? You know what I mean? And, uh... <laughs> nah, I mean... You know what I mean? And then, uh... What the fuck? <laughs> $5 soy latte about, is probably... You know, when you get that soy latte at 7-Eleven, a 7-Eleven is uh, open 24-7, so they have all the support you need uh, with whatever... Oh, very nice. ...technical issues you're going through. You know, life technical issues, of course. Uh, you can always talk to the guy behind the counter. He'll listen to anything. He's heard worse. You know, go in there and tell him about your cats. He's heard <laughs> way crazier story of cat ladies besides you. You know what I mean? So He's always listening yeah, for pussy sure. He's always listening. Real, so, real go deal, on. a soy latte from 7-Eleven is going to make you shit your pants. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the latte you're going to forget about one, your problem, aren't you, when you're cleaning up your pants? <laughs> Damn right you are. That's fucking, that fucking cat scratches are going to be... Out of sight, out of mind. When you got shit in your pants. <laughs> oh, it sucks. All right. Oh, <laughs> get the mop. Yeah. Let's okay. go. Get the right. mop. The the wop of <laughs> getting your cats off. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, first of all, dibs on five dollar soy latte for a band name. All right, go. Uh, <laughs> secondary. All right. So your cats are scratching your furniture. Uh, you don't want to go, in my experience with cats, you don't want to go weak on these cats. So you're going to go ahead and lob a hand grenade their way. God, that's yeah. that's, going, to, that's uh, going to go ahead and take care of that cat problem for sure. Like, yeah, they're fast and nimble and they land on their feet, but they're not going to have any feet left to land on oh, uh, after you lob oh. a hand grenade their way. Now, you this hand grenade, if, if you were worried car. about like further cats coming to investigate the bodies of the cats you blew up, um, the, the, the shrapnel of the hand grenade will emit a quiet but irritating sound. Uh, that should, that should <laughs> certainly keep any further cats from investigating, uh, the bloody battlefield that is your living room. Um, and what's, what's extra cool about this hand grenade is that it's also being hunted down by the person it was stolen from. So there's probably some, like, I don't know, like, some, like, some private in the military that you stole the hand grenade from. He's like, where's my hand grenade? And he's gonna show up, and he's gonna be like in full uniform. And the cat, like cats, are gonna see that, and they're gonna be like, "Oh, we don't wanna fuck with this guy." And they're extra gonna stay away from your couch. Um, yeah, I. Nothing else needs to be said. There you go. <laughs> that was good. I like that one. Well, you've pretty much nailed how I feel about cats. So. <laughs> You're on the I, right have, I have three cats, but I totally get it. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, Sinistar. May I call you Sinistar? Sinistar was my father. Call me Star. Star. <laughs> so, well, yeah, this is Sinistar the third. Mr. Star, what I have for you is a predator. Oh, shoot. I, I uh, suddenly want to change how I feel about the predator, but I'm going to continue with the original idea. Uh, the predator is the perfect tool to prevent your cat from scratching the furniture. Um, I can only assume... The cat tends to scratch the furniture when you're not paying attention. Uh, you just come in and find all types of destruction going on in the home. You never know when the cat's going to attack or where the cat's going to attack. But the predator is an alien life form, and he hides cloaked inside your home, waiting for the cat to get close to your furniture. And that's when he cuts the cat's nails away. The cat's nails will always be perfectly trimmed and dull and can no longer harm your furniture. That's yeah. how the predator is going to solve your problem of your cat scratching your furniture. Now, a wonderful feature of this predator is it smells like, let's find out what it smells like, <laughs> a bottle of wine. Ooh. So you're Ooh. going to be always soothed with the soothing scent of wine floating throughout the home, keeping you calm and collected, even if this cat manages to get away from the scratch. Now, another wonderful feature about this uh, predator is that it reads your diary. So all of your <laughs> secrets will be safe with the predator the predator will keep all people who want to keep your your get into your secrets 
away. Not only does it uh, protect your furniture from your cat, but it protects your secrets from your enemies. Mr. Ooh. Sinistar, or Star, as you like to be called, <laughs> this is the product for you. Uh, my father was Star. star. Just call me Star. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. Well, All right. Him, he's, give, he's trying to sell you Chris Hansen. That's crazy. All right. My cat <laughs> keeps scratching the furniture. All right, so your cats keep scratching the furniture, which you need, Mr. Star. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. <laughs> Mr. Star, you need a bucket of broken glass. Just imagine. You let, let's, I don't know. I mean, I'm assuming, but it says cats, so I'm assuming you got at least 67 cats because, you know, any, any less would be absolutely batshit. Um, yeah, that so you'd be stupid. You'd be stupid to have anything less than 67 cats. Uh, so you've got at least 67 cats you need. You, we've got a whole bucket of broken glass that we can sprinkle around all your furniture. And the cats will not want to walk on that broken glass. We all know how skittish cats are. We all know how skittish cats are. And the crazy thing is, this bucket of broken glass keeps lookout for you while you sleep. So that way, I, I don't know if the cats do anything else. The, the, the scratched furniture, they try to pee on it. Like, it, uh, they try to... <laughs> You know, bark their territory. They try to snuggle your wife. I I don't know. Whatever it is, <laughs> classic cat stuff. Yeah, try oh, taking oh, away oh. your attention. This bucket of broken glass keeps a lookout for you while you sleep, so you do not have to worry about a damn thing. And it has access to the motherfucking FBI's database. <laughs> so, you know how many times you've ever needed to find a motherfucker and uh, you know. Just beat beat the crap out of him. Well, this bucket of broken glass, you can beat... So after you pour the glass out, so that way to keep the cats away, you can use this bucket to beat somebody's ass that is in the motherfucker's database, the FBI's database that you've always wanted to beat their ass with. I'm confused. Is that what the FBI does with a database? <laughs> Beats random motherfuckers? <laughs> um, That's how I understand it. State secrets. <laughs> or, or you know that you know they have all the credit cards that you can. We've all we've all seen Fight Club. We've all seen Fight Club. First rule about Fight Clubs: you don't talk about Fight Club. Shh, yeah, James, come on. I, well, I have to. There's one rule. Now we gotta take it all. <laughs> I have to assume that everything you just said was true. <laughs> all right, we got one more left, right? Yeah, I would like, I'd like to hear about the shirt. Rush, teach us a wise one. Here you go, man. Sinister, how you doing today, buddy? I'm good, how are you? All right, man, so I see you got a little problem here, okay? Your cats, obviously, are going batshit crazy on all your furniture in your home, right? Okay, yeah, it's the makes worst. you upset. You know, happy life, happy wife. She's probably not happy at all, okay? Uh, <laughs> you know, so what I'd always like to tell you, I mean, people coming over, looking at your shit, staring at it, judging you, you don't want that, right? Okay, so I got an easy, no. easy product that works perfect for you, and it works perfect for the cats and everybody in the home. It's family friendly, okay? So here's the thing. I have got furniture that transforms into what I like to call cat furniture. So the cat furniture, there's actually specific specified places where cats normally go to. Their oh, go-to spots on the couch to actually scratch shit up, right? They love like the corners and all Sean. that type of shit. So, so like, rewind 30 seconds. There we go. There you go. Oh, there okay. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're good. So okay. what actually happens is all of these points, they have actual scratching pads on them, which is also transferable into their nails, which allows them to be, you know, uh, like a nail filer. So it, it nail files it down. But it's a specific furniture that each corner of the couch or wherever it is that your specific cat likes to go turns into scratching furniture now this thing here wait i can't i can't draw somebody else is on tight give it to me okay Sorry, we just a bunch of us had to just draw cards and catch up to where we were all right so the other bad thing about this couch okay i will say the only negative here is that if you got any personal information it does read your diary now mm. you know maybe you just you know, you don't have one, and that's the best way to keep it. Keep it all, <laughs> <laughs> keep, keep it all upstairs. Okay? What asshole right. has a diary nowadays? All right. All right. So, to each his one's own, okay? Not judging you here, just saying. 
All right. And then the best part of it all is that this furniture is customizable all around any side, any shape, any color you want. Wherever you want the scratch and post on the couch to be, you choose it. You know, you let your lady choose it, whatever you feel. And it costs you less than the shirt off of your back. How's that sound? Wow. Brought it back. Sounds pretty he good. Brought it back. Awesome. Awesome. Let me get you a couple. All right. All right. Solid products all around. You know what? <clears throat> I think I think I'm going to lean into the realm of personal development and I'm going to go with the jar of jelly. Yeah. So I can train to be a professional football player. You know what? Y'all don't be jelly now. Don't be jelly. <laughs> hey, if I'm uh, jelly of your jelly. If I'm getting rid of cards in my hand, should I put it in the uh, discard? Throw them in the, yeah, throw them in the discard. discard. That must be jelly because jam don't shake like that. Uh, oh, but yes, for, hey. for, future, for future reference, when you see a card with a blank on it, you draw that thing. So, so you like draw a new card to replace yeah, it. Yeah, so like where that one was like, smells like, and they drew like a bottle of wine, like transforms into would normally, yeah. you would normally draw like a, a another product card. All right. Wait, I think I just, oh, I didn't, okay. I'll be right back, fellas. No, that, I mean, that's perfectly fine that the rules here aren't super strict. He's trying to boot us off this damn stream. <laughs> Wait, who muted Rush? He doesn't have the power. Who, who's censoring us? <laughs> who is the evil man here? It was uh, the armed man. So what, it's Bulldozer <laughs> again, I think, right? Yeah, it's yes. time for build, Bulldozer. Bulldozer had the jelly. Trouble. Cool, cool. Oh, hold on one second. Sorry, <laughs> Kevin. I shared I shared our stream in uh, my buddies their uh, friend con group so we might get some more viewers. Nice. All that right. Be nice. I'm one of the five viewers we got right now. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Sellouts. The next problem we brought to you by Bulldozer. My problem is I need to get rid. I need a way to get rich quick, bitch. <laughs> got it. Got it. Not only do I have it, but I'm ready. Give it to me, Daddy. <laughs> oh, shucks. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, I like mine very much. Shall I lead? Does anybody care if I start right away? Go right uh, ahead. Nah, go go, yeah, go for it. Go for it. All right, you need a way to get rich quick. Well, I'm gonna. I'm here to tell you. Mr. Dozer. Can I call you Bill? Bill. Absolutely. Okay. Bill, the easiest way, time tested, the easiest way to get rich quick is with a gun. That's right. <laughs> Carry around a gun and walk into your favorite, uh, your favorite established bank? bank, and then just casually suggest that maybe they should give you the money in the register. And then... You know, you just make just a quick getaway. It. Just casually suggest it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's going to stop you when you've got a gun? Now, you might be thinking, but once I have the money, I have to get away quick. That's perfectly fine because this gun is comfortable driving the getaway car. <laughs> That's right. This car, uh, this gun will drive you away from the scene of the crime and you are ready to go. Now, this gun also has two other features, apparently. <laughs> One of which is, it's a lifetime supply of guns. <laughs> so you might be thinking, what if Fucking this gun gets old and rusty? Get a new one. And the third feature, <laughs> the third feature is it's only sold in bulk. So, <laughs> which makes sense because it's a lifetime supply. You have to buy a lot of guns right now, but you got a gun for the rest of your life. Uh. <laughs> it had three features. How did it have three features? Why, yeah, why'd you pick three? I had this card that said discard this card and attach two additional features. So uh, I got three. Oh. Nice. That is a nice. very feature rich gun. Those are, those are good gun. features. Very feature rich yeah. gun. They all, they all linked up pretty well. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. I could be rich if I had unlimited guns. Fuck what you heard. You're the war dog. You don't even have to rob. You could just sell. Sell guns. Yeah. I, my dad already has a gun shop, so fuck it. There, there you go. go. Already Family in the business. Biz already there. You can be a new war dog. 
<laughs> All right, who's next? Is it me? I think it's so you. Maybe I should go last because I'm going to crush it. So Go for it. <laughs> oh. It's up to you, bro. All right, I'll, I'll go. Hey, go for Phil, it. let me ask you something. You need to make money. Yeah. Would you say Would you say if you had your own private island, you'd be doing pretty well? Is that correct? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, you would. What if you had your own continent? You'd be doing pretty damn well with money. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> what if you had your own small fucking planet? A whole fucking small planet. You'd be doing pretty damn well. Am I right? Hell yeah. Now, people sell islands. Uh, war criminals sell continents. Uh, you could sell a small planet and probably make a good amount of money and make it quick. But Church. if you're an entrepreneur... You're not gonna sell the planet. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grow shit on that planet. You're gonna make that planet work for you. The best great. thing about this planet is this planet is has well is well seasoned. I mean, it has the best seasons in the way. You can grow crops. You can grow weed. <laughs> you can get to your planet. That's no rule. You can grow all well the drugs you want on that planet and bring it in here. Well seasoned. Well seasoned. Well seasoned. It's got the good seasons. It's got the good seasons. <laughs> 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 Fuck what you heard. <laughs> Fuck Winter. Damn, that's good. Damn, yeah. Just give it up. I'm a clap. Wow, well, season. That is awesome. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. That was good. And then the best part about this planet is because, you know, smaller planets turns, this planet turns slow. So the years actually are longer on this planet. So you're going to live longer. And therefore, you're just going to knock some time off of your life. You know what I mean? Oh, God. <laughs> there, I mean, it's a win-win. Well, it's just a win-win all around. I want a well-seasoned, long life planet. You want a well-seasoned planet. You just want a well-seasoned, small planet. <laughs> it ain't bland. It's well-seasoned. <laughs> <laughs> Good weather year-round. Good weather. Well, <laughs> fuck winter. Am I right? Let's go. All Who's right. next? Good luck. Good, Good luck. luck. All right. All right. <laughs> so... So he's got a small planet, and that's cool. But you've lived long enough on this Earth to know that if there's new free real estate, the U.S. is gonna call manifest destiny and conquer it for you. Damn. So Damn. you're gonna you're gonna get a small planet, but the United States military is gonna go ahead and uh, confiscate that planet from you before you Jesus. can really profit off it. You just went trail of tears on me. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. The government fucking sucks. Um, <laughs> And they'll just, steal whole planets from you. You can quote on that. Oh um, my god! Just so, the savages that lived here. Now, now, and it's from you. That's now, the most savage shit I've ever. Heard. Now I've been on the internet long enough to know that the way to make real money is eBay. Fuck so man. you're gonna sell pool tables on eBay. <laughs> but, there, but but there's a twist. The you're not gonna sell actual pool tables. You're gonna sell just the box that the pool table came in. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna list it for like two grand. They're gonna, think, they're gonna see the picture and they're gonna be like, "Oh, it's a real pool table," and they'll buy it and they'll get the box and they'll laugh all the way to the bank while you delete your old account and make a new seller account. Oh my god! I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Oh my god! Trying to make the real box. And what's the best about this pool table box is that. You can drive up the price because it loves you unconditionally. This pool oh, table box oh, will love you and it will love its new owner unconditionally. So they're not it. they're not even going to pursue legal action against you because it risks them losing their Ooh. pool table box that loves them Love's unconditionally. Really well. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So are you going to go with are you going to go with the planet that will immediately be taken by the US government <laughs> or, or the endless eBay scheme? Become the schemer you always dreamed of. They've cracked down on that eBay shit years ago. You can't do that shit no more. My roommate came downstairs to make sure I was okay. <laughs> are, are, are you okay? I don't know. Do you need a minute? No, oh, this is great. Get that, a drink. Those were two of the most creative pitches I've heard in a row. Very well done, boys. Very well done. Yeah. All right. Great pitches. I bashed on it, but that was great hat hat trick. That you. was great. <laughs> Very. All right, Billy, give it to us, bro. Chavix. Am I still here? My yep, headset. There you are. All right. Ah. But, um. So, those are we, we we've heard about manifest destiny and slaughtering all the innocents that are going to be on your planet. Um. We've also heard about uh, 
the small planet itself. The one guy tried to hold you at gunpoint for a sale, I heard. Um, <laughs> what I have for you is a way to genuinely become not only rich, but wealthy. Uh, being being rich and having money quick is, is just... That, that, that's the tip of the iceberg. We can get you all of the iceberg. Everything hiding beneath the water. What generates... Uh, richness what 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 identifies things as being worth something what what makes it value. something a value scarcity there is only one of these mm. in existence mm. and it will be yours it is a dinosaur <laughs> now, <laughs> yeah. pay millions just to get close to a real dinosaur we've already saw jurassic park we know it can end poorly but there's only <laughs> one in existence so they can't multiply <laughs> Life you finds a way. That, that's the beautiful thing about this product. This product also <laughs> folds into a briefcase for easy carrying. It's so an inflatable dinosaur. dinosaur. We can get it the inside a briefcase. You can take oh. it to the cons. You can take it camping. It'll keep predators away while you camp. I um, want to take a dinosaur camping. Yes, you do. Uh, <laughs> so, those are... I got you a dinosaur, baby. Wow. I get you a toe by 3 p.m. That was good. Hey, this is one of the hardest rounds I've ever, like, all right, but I, I got to say, Bill, Bill, I, I, I know you so well. You know, I think, I think you would make an even better Stedman than Stedman. And we all know Stedman lived a badass life with Oprah, right? Everybody knows who Stedman is, right? Jesus Christ. You know you would make a badass Stedman. You've watched, you've watched, what's that episode with uh, with uh, Dave Chappelle where he's like, oh, if I was Stedman, oh, I'd be like doing kung fu and be playing video games and, and Oprah's out there making all the fucking money. We've all seen that. That would be, that's like the more most badass life ever is to have all the fun and none of the responsibility and all you need so that way you can propose to your very own cougar Oprah is a ring. <laughs> that's all you need is a ring okay and you'll have all the money you've ever needed and the crazy the best thing about this ring is it curses you to having your picture taken always right when you look away from the camera so if you're embarrassed by your cougar bitch all you got <laughs> you don't want to be seen on social media with her you'll never have to worry about your picture being shown up on social media next to this cougar woman that you're very kind of a little bit embarrassed about maybe and on top of that on top of that the fuck? it pays your parking tickets for you so while wow I mean, everybody makes mistakes every so often. Every, I mean, who hasn't had a parking ticket at least once in their life? And this is just a free bonus. Especially off, in New Jersey. Off to you, Rush. Everything's legal in New Jersey. Oh, man, I don't know. These are and, tough. Oh, and you get, you get to sleep with her, too, if you want to. But you don't have to. You're, you would make a badass then. That's all I'm saying. All right, man. So here we go. You want to get rich quick, right? Yeah. All right, check this out. So... All I got for you is something real simple. I'm getting right to the point, okay? What if you had, okay, a license to create something similar to a Tesla? But it wasn't a Tesla. It was more like a Esla, okay? Now, it's completely different. You know why? Because it never needs recharging. They have not added that feature, okay? So when you're driving your Tesla down the road, you're driving, you're running out of freaking electricity, you know what I mean? And even if they integrate some kind of way to put gas in it, you're running out of gas. This thing just keeps going. No stops, no charging. Just keep keep it going. Word. What I got? What is this? What is this? All right, here we go. The beautiful thing about that, it's powered by renewable sources. <laughs> Do you see what I'm talking about? Listen, bulldozer, you don't you don't need a planet, okay? Yeah, yeah, all right, you don't need a planet. You definitely don't need some cougar paying your pay your, your parking tickets, okay? <laughs> you won't you'll be able to afford your own parking tickets, okay? All right, we don't need a dinosaur because hopefully it's a herbivore. <laughs> you never know, it could eat you. You know who who knows, okay? So come on down here and get yourself a Esla that's powered by oh, renewable oh. sources that never needs recharging, oh, and it only costs Tesla. you one Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> 
A coin. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> A coin. <laughs> I was wondering when he was gonna get to it. A coin. A coin. A coin, baby. Oh, oh my god. Uh, wow. I that was not expecting. He brings it. He's so good at bringing it back. He's so good at bringing it back. I was like, you know, you gotta say a coin at some point. <laughs> <laughs> he is the best at bringing it back. Oh my God, those are, I don't I don't envy you, man. These were a bunch of good pitches, but you, all, you know you want the bitches. Just know that like some <laughs> friendships may break. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, <laughs> just kidding. Damn, there's no pressure, just a lot of pressure. Man, I want a dinosaur. Nah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. It's oh, right there for you. Bullshit. It, it is right. yours. There's dinosaurs right on my planet. <laughs> Yeah, but they belong to the U.S. government. <laughs> You're gonna take your plan. <laughs> he could he couldn't choose between the pool table box and the the planet, so he went with the dinosaur. I understand. The pool table box sounds like something I would do in real life. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah, we're all about realism here in sellouts. Gentlemen, and having the perfect there... cards kind of sucks when everybody else has the perfect cards. Yeah, you. Absolutely. It's all Gentlemen, about that pitch, I have a baby. problem. Uh, I need to hide the body. Ooh. Uh, this is not not a game. This is an emergency. There's an exclamation point. At the end of <laughs> Actually, the we should probably. I uh, need to hide shut... the body. Yeah, can you shut down the stream? Uh, we should probably talk about yes. this off the internet. <laughs> so Good you to see go. What had happened was in game. In game. Good to go. All right. So you need to hide the body, and Billy, you're you're my boy. You know, I will do anything for you. Not only do you get me to help you hide said body. First off, I would have already been there. I would have, I will, I'm in this with you because you and I both know if there's a body that's being hidden, you probably did it for me. So I'm totally, yeah, let's get rid of this fucking body. And here's what we need. We need a fucking Zeppelin. <laughs> All right. Now, you put the body in the Zeppelin, put the Zeppelin in the air. Like, nobody's looking for the body in the air. They're looking for it on the ground, okay? They're looking for it on the ground. And while we're at it, since this Zeppelin shrinks every time we use it to half its size, we might as well get rid of a couple other bodies that we need to get rid of. So we can go ahead and get rid of all the people that we need to get rid of because every time we use it, it will shrink to half its size till eventually it doesn't exist and the police will never find it. So... So, now that we know this, the craziest thing is it convinces your boss that you're a high-value employee, so the smaller it gets, eventually it goes into, we all know who your boss is, is, boss is, his ear, and says, hey, this guy, this guy's amazing, can never get rid of this guy, all that kind of stuff, like, you never have to worry about losing your job ever again, and you don't get caught for murder. God damn. Mm -hmm. I feel like you I thought won. this out before. I won this one. <laughs> <laughs> Plus it's an it's a cool name like it's a Zeppelin, not oh, the, not Led Zeppelin, it's a Zeppelin. That's a new band name. If you ever need to start a band, you can start a new band call it a Zeppelin. I want the Zeppelin card while I have may contain lead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Rush, Rush. Are you ready? Not, not necessarily. All right, we send a star. Know. All right, I'm good to go. All right, so <laughs> you need to hide the body and quick. Let me tell you, just take this uh, tuft of Donald Trump's hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, I, like, I know you I might like be thinking. Let, let's hear I mean, I, you know, one way or the other, I don't know how you feel about him. That's not really important. What's important is he's got a lot of followers, and if you have a tuft of his hair... You are protected. That is like a sacred <laughs> relic. All right. Oh now, the, the secondary effect <laughs> of having this is there's a 30% 30, 30 chance to summon a demon. And, you know, demons, they love, they love dead bodies. They, they'll take them wherever. So, like, even if you're not 100% protected by the cult that follows you afterwards, uh, you got a demon who will potentially help you out in the interim. 
Uh, and then the third, uh, or the second feature of this product is it's actually a replica. Um, which is not an issue because because people are only working off of image recognition anyway. It's not no, like it, they're actually DNA if testing. I'm about cult, if I'm worried about Trump's followers, the, the replica will be just fine. They, their their yeah. intelligence is low enough to not know it's not the real thing. I need a shower. <laughs> what? Boy, what? Oh. I'm so dirty after all this. <laughs> just hearing Trump's name twice makes him feel like he needs a shower. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I forgot I didn't, about him. Why would you do this? I didn't want to play the card, honestly. <laughs> but I did. Because I'm a sellout. Hey! He said the thing. Hey! hey. 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 Do, we, do we go back to Rush, or do we just go where Yeah, ready? yeah. I mean, I'm ready if you're ready. Go for it, bro. Rush is ready. Go ahead. I, I, ready? I apologize for my latency. I just want to make body. sure this was good for you, okay? <laughs> All right, so, check this out, man. <clears throat> you got a body, right? It doesn't matter how you got it. it doesn't matter where it came from. You don't know anything about it, neither do I, all right? So what I got for you right here is I got a magical door with treasure behind it. You just don't know where the door is, <laughs> okay? But once you find the door, the body's gone. You don't know where it is. They don't know where it is. No one knows where it is. <laughs> and you also get this magical fucking treasure. You have no idea what that treasure is, right? It could be great. Now, in addition to that, I mean, you want to take a chance and figure out a treasure, right? I mean, everybody likes a treasure. Uh, That's right. It's behind that waterfall. Let's see here. So. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Let's hear it. Yeah, let's let's hear it. Look. Uh, all right. All right. All right. Check this out. Now, listen. Now, this door could be surprisingly agile. Okay? <laughs> could be. But I want you to know <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? you're a man. Men have no fear. Okay? So it's worth the risk. And at the end of it all, we got some toxic, we got some toxic, <laughs> toxic chemicals. We got toxical. some toxic, toxic chemicals. Toxic okay? chemicals. To wash away everything. We're going to get a, hey, we're going to get a nice bucket. Okay. I'm talking about one of the big blue bins and we're going to, we're going to melt the problems away. We're not going to remember anything. They're not going to remember anything. We put in the magical door. It all disappears. No one ever knows. It doesn't leave a smell or a trace. How about that? Jesus Look at that. Christ. Toxical. I'm going to sell you a magical door that nobody toxic, knows where it is. Toxic plus but topical. In case that don't work, we got some lying bleach. We're going to fix that. <laughs> <laughs> That's my new band name. Toxical Chemicals. Toxical, toxical chemicals. chemicals. Toxical I don't know where chemicals. that came from, but yeah. I like toxic it. and I chemicals like toxic combined. Toxic sounds like a sweet ass word right there. Toxical. Holy shit, is that a real word? It is a real word. Is it paradoxical? No, it's toxical. It's a you know what I got? Toxic. You gotta get rid of a body, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know what's like get rid of a body? It's this. It sellouts the game. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, you know this, why? It's so old that it has a dollar sign in the name. You know, you know why you you know why you need this goddamn game? It's not because it's fun. It's because it's so bad, it it, bur it, it just bursts into flames when it touches human skin. <laughs> so you just throw this shit right on the body, and it'll just ignite right up, burn away everything. You just have a little bit of ash. It'll be like when they dump out the coffee can at the end of the Big Lebowski. Just, just ash. <laughs> right. Just blowing face. around. His yeah, name was Donnie. Yeah. And he loved Donnie the wanted. The fuck up, Donnie. And so then, and then, You're you know what? God These damn. players are nihilist, Johnny. <laughs> Donnie. Why did I say Johnny? Quickly. I can't. I can't get the goddamn. <laughs> Somebody right drop click. me a fucking right card. Right click. Right click. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were trying to put the deck back. I was trying to take a car. Yeah. Right <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. I can't. Ugh. Capable of creating entire planets from nothing. Yeah. It, th this shit is. Uh, <laughs> it, after it burns up the body, a whole. It, fuck planting a tree to help life. This does a whole nother goddamn. Yeah. A whole new world. <laughs> Every kind of point of Oh yeah, view. all of a sudden planets are important to you, huh? Fire yeah. Upon touching human skin. <laughs> now you like fucking planets, Bull Bill, huh? Now you like fucking planets, huh? Let's you know what? It. Set course for a hospital. My skin's on fire. Johnny. 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 Let's see how it is. Johnny. 
<laughs> You're out of element, Johnny. All right, Johnny. Patrick, give it to it's us, all me. Johnny Johnny It's on you, bro. All right. All right, so you need to hide a body, and you need to hide it quick, <laughs> I assume. Now, here at Hatrix LLC, which is a real company, by the way, uh, we actually Whoa. have developed quite the product. Uh, a lot of people use it. Jack the Ripper used it. Hillary Clinton used it. Oh, and yeah. this product is... <laughs> is it hot well, sauce? Let me not tell you what it is. is let me tell sauce? you Marking. what it is. So, Pizzagate. you're in an alley. You can't plug it into a is wall. It pizza? You can't. It's not solar powered. What is going to make this product work? Well, I'm going to tell you what's going to make this product work. It's going to be a fucking human sacrifice. A living sacrifice. Oh, a living yes, sacrifice. It <laughs> yes, it will be. So to be honest, if you plan on murdering again, you just keep this thing with you because it's going to work out just great. Now, how do we get rid of a body? If, you know, how do we get rid of a body? What's the best way to get rid of one? Well, you know, we keep it simple over here at Hatrix LLC. You just get a fucking vacuum cleaner. All right? <laughs> it's just a fucking vacuum cleaner. Just vacuum it up. Work for Hillary. It's all good. Don't worry about it. God damn. And not even the best part about this fucking vacuum is that it tells you their secrets. So you get to read her emails and fucking <laughs> kill people. I don't know. I lost it. But uh, yeah, that's it. The fucking vacuum. So I think enjoy. I, it. I think I know who Q is. <laughs> I think uh, <laughs> what happened, Chavix, is he just told you you need it requires a, a living sacrifice. So it just oh. told you that it, it, it need you need me in your corner with getting rid of this body. Hatrix himself just told you. He backed me up. That, that I need a, a zeppelin instead of a vacuum cleaner. That's exactly what he said. He said you need a living sacrifice, and I am. Itari living sacrifice. So he just he's Itari living sacrifice. Yeah. Oh, shit. Just... Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is entirely mm. coincidental. Here at Hatrix LLC, we'll make sure or we we have faith that you'll make the right choice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Melchior. If not, if not, we have a fucking vacuum. Don't you forget. Uh, that. Mel -chan, I mean Johnny. Johnny. Well, yeah. What's up? What's up, yeah. Sin Sensei? No, I'm gonna use that for next game now. after Skagic. <laughs> yeah. I felt That's like. Fine. I felt like a next level incredible feeling earlier when I came up with that. All right, so what the fuck? All right, so you need to hide a body. Honestly, the best way to hide a body is to work with Mother Nature. So what I recommend is maybe you go out into the middle of nowhere, probably somewhere that's very rainy, um, and you dig a hole, you throw the body in the hole, and you let mother nature do the rest by calling some rain with your rain stick <laughs> so, so you're going to use your rain stick to call a shitload of rain it's going to cause a whole bunch of mud to envelop rain. the body and basically bury it for you and you don't have to worry about it do it in like mm. a random ass country in africa in the middle of the forest they'll never why has it got to be africa jesus christ no, no, it's very it's 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 very rainy <laughs> there far. itari Too i don't far. know where you're getting it but there's no extradition process <laughs> that too. Yeah, damn. Um, and the cool thing about this rain stick is it always has your back, man. <laughs> so, like, even if you're not emotionally ready to use the rain stick to bury the body, it's like, I know what you need right now. I'll call the rains for you. I'll bless the rains down in Africa. Oh! For you. Um, it has your back. And this rain stick has a cool heads up display. <laughs> So you can literally like Iron Man just like looking around you like beep boop 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 beep boop boop it's like summoning rain and then uh, it, it calls the rain and it buries the body for you and uh, the cool heads up display lets you know if the body's ever uh, disturbed or anything so you need to know if you need to get your shit in order and maybe go buy a zeppelin and uh, flee into the sky <laughs> <laughs> which is the next logical which is the next logical move. I appreciate all the different pitches I've heard, uh, but I think to hide a body, I'm going to go with toxical chemicals over here. Toxical chemicals. Toxical hey. chemicals. Toxical You've said chemicals. it enough that I don't think that that word is weird anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's normal That's word now. Cool. It's logical toxical. Logical Wait, why toxical. does it say Johnny over here a bunch of times? <laughs> It said that for like half an hour now, dude. Number of times you said Johnny instead of Donnie. I said it once. All right, Rush. Is that two? <laughs> do you start typing it twelve times? That's, that's once two. was two. Do you much. have two? Have you? Do you have two whole dollars? Dollar dollar bills, y'all? I, I got two, baby. Two. Who else has two? Those are us two, right? 
I think it was uh, one. One? I think Rush is in the lead. Yeah, I'm not doing Rush so is well. in the lead right now. I don't even have it's one good. yet. Shit. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm poor as shit. I want to run to the restroom real quick. Be right back. Listen to the problem. Don't fall in. Wait, I need to. I can wait till he gets back. I can't. I can't even draw a card, so I'm uh, still figuring it out. Real okay. quick, real quick. There you go. I mean, you could you could do it now. We could pitch without okay. Atari okay. here. He he, cool. he can make a pitch when he gets back. All right, so I just gotta take the card off the thing, right? There we go. Uh, yeah, and flip it with F and let us know. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. My bad. I was talking to uh, chat. <laughs> who uh, who won? Rich. Um, Rich. That's Rich. Bullshit. Yeah. Ah. It, it was toxic chemicals. It toxical chemicals, baby. Toxical chemicals. All right. Logical, toxical. So the, my problem is I can't. S <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love it. I can't tell if my friends are really my friends or malicious clones secretly plotting to kill me. I believe that. I, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> this, this hits home. But go on. This is, this is solid, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, man. So you know, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's it. It's just, okay. I thought it was more chilly. That's, that's, oh, that's it. Thing. Okay. Okay. Malicious clones. <laughs> All right. I think I got you. I think I got you. Appreciate that. All right, Rush. Mr. Rush. Yeah. We're A. Love it. All right. Mr. Rush. Uh, I understand that you are having a problem determining whether or not your friends are clones. And I'm assuming your friends are normally human. Is that correct to assume? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so your normally human friends, uh, they are normally prone to, maybe not prone, but susceptible to death. Is that correct? Okay. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, the clones that you're referring to mm -hmm. uh, are not susceptible to death. So what I introduce to you is this ancient sacrificial dagger that will kill only your friends and not the clones. So if you try to stab somebody, if they don't die, they're a clone, right? <laughs> now, you might be wondering, but what if I'm out and I don't have this dagger with me and I run into a friend and I need to determine if they're a clone or not? Well, this dagger follows you wherever you go. So it's always available. Nice. Uh, and the extra, the extra benefit is this this ancient sacrificial dagger is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. This is a reverent. Boy Scout's sacrificial dagger. What did I say? God damn. <laughs> reverent. You got me on that one. <laughs> so this is the Boy Scout sacrificial dagger. So that's how you know it's good. Let's go. So, uh... So you say you uh, you don't you can't tell if your friends and your family are really them or if they're uh, they're clones, right? Malicious what, clones. Yeah. So what you need is something that that just brings you back to your core, something that you know is real. You know what that is? An old pair of fucking socks. <laughs> <laughs> right? You know you know how you know they're yours. You know how they, they've been through the thick and thin with you and everything, because they still got the fucking holes in them. <laughs> Uh -huh. All right, it's what's more comfortable than your old favorite pair of comfy socks that has that big toe because you let that nail get that little bit too long, and you just pop right <laughs> through that motherfucker. We all got that pair that I brings do. you back home. That no fucking matrix is going to remember that detail. No clone, no bullshit. Those socks are real. You, you can say your life socks are you. real. And you know what? You know what else? You know what else is with these socks? Okay, these fucking socks right here. These fucking socks right here. These they, motherfucking uh, socks right here. Uh, they're laser guided. <laughs> Ooh. So what what it is is your socks, and they will guide your fucking path to what's real and what's bullshit. These socks. These <laughs> old socks I've never have. wanted a pair of socks so fucking bad in my entire hey, life. Now, now <laughs> all, all Bill's e socks are socks. crusted on his floor. Oh, <laughs> that's how it got the holes in e it. <laughs> With this laser guided dick. Socks, <laughs> a pair of holy socks. E man socks. So you know what you did with them in your teenage years? Fuck it. Whatever. That's what we're <laughs> paid for, man. You know, Clorox too, color safe. Whatever. You ever you ever <laughs> stub your toe on a sock? Uh, <laughs> 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 
Never stub your toe on a sock. That's disgusting. (laughs) The Lord who guided will guide you around that fucking that Lego that you stepped on. For the people just joining us, this game can be as crazy dirty or as family friendly as you need it to be. But it's us. I'm giving you a lot of shit this round, and I apologize ahead of time. You ain't hurt me, baby. I don't give a fuck. But that that pitch sucked. <sighs> you go to hell. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah. <laughs> you go to hell. You die. <laughs> hey, hey, I hey! Mean, I don't even remember mean. the cards I put down. Wait, 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 um, wait, 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 wait! Real quick. Um, Hats has got to make uh ever stub your toe on on a sock thing for your stream. Uh, Sinistar, that's a freaking quote and a half. You ever yeah. stub your toe <laughs> on a sock? It's such a shitty day that you stub your toe on a fucking sock. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh my god. Alright, what's the thing again? <laughs> okay, yeah, your friends. That's right. Alright. So. Alright, hang on a sec. So here at Hatrix LLC. <laughs> If you have friends that you think are fucking clones or not, what we're going to do is we're going to fucking kill them for you, okay? And what we're going to present you with kill your is a human fucking skull. Their human fucking skull. And once they're dead, they have no fucking choice but to be really, really nice to you all the time. Because you know what? Fuck them, they're dead. And you can make them say, you can just put their fucking skull on your hand and make them talk for you. You know, just like the fucking Lion King. Love the bunch of coconuts, <laughs> dee 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 You can do that shit with your fucking friend's fucking skull. And then just make them be all nice to you and shit. <laughs> dee 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 and, and not only that. dee 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 Not only that, but Hatrick LLC is actually celebrity endorsed. Where we will have a celebrity kill that motherfucker for you. <laughs> How do I pick this? Oh, I just pick a celebrity. And that celebrity no, is goddamn Tyra Banks. <laughs> it's who? Tyra Ty- Banks. Tyra Banks, America's Next yep. Top Model. Hey, yeah, listen, bro. Right. Hey, no, I know who she is. She will fucking, she will fucking kill that motherfucker for you. Come to your house, deliver him, just holding that fucking skull, bro. Now I think about it, she might actually be a very good murderer. Uh, she's a she's a big girl. She's fine as shit. I'll she's a big she's girl. Shit. I let her in my she house. Can, she can right? handle herself out there. I'll tell you that. Yeah, she she's killed. Cool. She's she, uh, she, she probably whooped my ass. She's, she's killed America's well next skull. next top model multiple years in a row. <laughs> she she got there by getting a lot of human skulls. I'll tell you That's what. right. By giving a lot of skull. I mean, uh, the same way most people get a lot get, of skull. Get, get <laughs> she gave all the skull. She <laughs> gives the best skull. She does. She, she gives, she gives, she gives the best helmet. <laughs> the best helmet. Tree <laughs> dental. All right. Uh, my pitch. My it's pitch is next. simple. Um, you can't tell if your friends or your friends are clones. Well, you spent a lot of time with your friends, and your clones might not have all the same memories you do. So you're gonna bank on that, all right? So Shut you're up. gonna. I'm gonna sell you a deck of playing cards, <laughs> and you're gonna play some standard card games with your friends. Now, by now, you've spent enough time with your friends that you understand what their poker faces look like. So you'll know when they're lying or if they clearly have fucking evil intent in their eyes. Mm. And these playing cards, if used for longer than four hours, contact your doctor. So if you're, <laughs> if you're playing cards for four hours and you're... <laughs> Sean, God damn it. If you're playing <laughs> cards for four hours and you're unable to determine which one is a clone or not, you just call your doctor and he'll figure it out for you. Um, like, I don't want to take the training reels off, like, figure it out yourself, but if you can't in four hours, then, Sean, can you, I can't flip over my Sorry. next card. <laughs> you, you made that card so large. It's okay. so big. Oh, now it's so small. And this deck of playing cards is made of lead. Is that, car- is that a card in your pocket, or are you just happy to see? It, yeah, it's it's made of lead, and j- just like every playing card you played with your friends, you always tell them, oh, here's my deck of playing cards that are made out of lead that I always bring with me to every social gathering. So your friends will know when the cards are made of lead, and they'll kind of expect it when they pick up and the cards are heavy, but the clones won't expect it. You can kind of gauge it in their eyes when they pick up a card that's a little too heavy. But again, surprised. but again, if you can't figure it out, just wait four hours and then uh, bring your doctor friend over. God, and, you, yeah. and you'll be all set. God damn it, Sean! All my cards are different sizes. <laughs> <Can't>... <laughs> I'm 
I don't know how that happened. Right over hey, here. hey, before the next person goes, can I ask a crazy question? You guys might laugh sure. at me, right? Sure. Uh, those numbers on our names at the top is our ping to the server, right? Probably. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Got it. Okay, cool. All right. That's our uh, current score. Notice that's our current score. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's how much fun you're having. You're having the most. <laughs> so I, I literally, I literally don't have permission to change the size of these cards. Uh, so, wow. um, Rush, uh, I understand you're having trouble determining friends from enemies and enemies from friends, secret what? clones. Uh, I can tell you what will make sure that doesn't matter. What we have here is encrusted with diamonds. So all of your problems are already solved. You're rich. Friends, not friends, clones, not clones, it doesn't matter. With this sword, you can wipe those enemies and friends clean. <laughs> now, another wonderful thing about this sword that I'm presenting to you is that it can, it can accurately predict the future. So all you have to do is get close to a friend or an enemy, and it will tell you whether or not you are still friends or enemies in the future. You, you don't even have to oh. kill these clones. You don't have to kill your friends, but your sword will keep you safe and let you know what's going to happen down the road with the person you're talking to. You, you ever been afraid of commitment? Didn't really know if you wanted to spend the rest of your life talking to that person? This sword can let you know right now whether or not this is a fruitful relationship or a waste of your time. Oh, goddamn. And I won't waste any more of yours. Where can I buy this fucking bag? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hey, Rush, Damn, you know, I smooth. mean, that that was smooth as all get out. I mean, we all know Billy's a smooth operator, all that kind of stuff. The crazy thing is, I think he just called you lion -O from freaking Thundercats because he says you can accurately predict the future with a freaking sword. He's asking you to give me sight I'm beyond giving sight. You sight beyond sight. He's, that's what he's asking for. Thundercats, ho! He's, he's trying to call. I'm asking you. I am trying to call, you sight beyond sight. He's trying to yeah. call all your friends hoes or something like that. What hey. you really need is a finely tuned guitar, all right? <laughs> this finely tuned guitar, because here's the thing. You got you can't tell if they're malicious clones secretly trying to plot to kill you. Here's the thing. What you want to do is you play this guitar for them. You ever you remember that uh, old myth, the old legend of uh, the Pied Piper? You play this guitar, it will pick out the clones for you. The real people won't follow you, but the clones will follow you. And it allows you to tell the outcome of your choices before you make them. So while you while you are double checking, like you're killing a clone, killing a clone, you will be able to tell before you know it. This is like a this is a more badass version of the Lion Sword because <laughs> why else? Like, what are you gonna do with a sword nowadays? That ain't gonna help you get to get you chicks. You need a finely tuned guitar. That will get you chicks and be able to kill the clones. Okay? And the crazy thing, the crazy thing about this finely tuned guitar, it doesn't care about your wants or needs, just like all the other women that you're gonna be picking up with this finely tuned guitar. God. So. <laughs> oh shit. Does, he knows Wonderwall. I, dude, I've been wanting him to say Wonderwall the entire time. I'm like, anyway, brother, here's Wonderwall. Allows you to see if the girl's in the quad like your rendition of Wonderwall so it, or not. It doesn't care about your feelings. It doesn't care it doesn't care about your feelings, so it won't mind telling you that this person you thought was your friend this whole time is really a clone that you need to kill because it's trying to kill you. Living sacrifice is absolutely right. Sword or axe, it doesn't <laughs> matter, but mine is diamond encrusted. <laughs> It makes, makes money, love it makes money and tells the future. I can't go wrong with that. All right, Rush. It's your decision. So All on you. Shark this, I, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. This one's a tough one for me because I'm, I'm sold on hat and I'm sold on Shavix. Uh, so just going 100% mentally, like, I'm going to go with the sword. And the reason, hat don't kill me. The reason is... Like I said again, it's not so much the diamonds, but it's the fact that I can take the diamonds out and sell them. And they, then get your hand off my skull, of that, man. Get your hand off my skull. <laughs> get it, it off. It tells the future, man. So it tells me before I even make a mistake whether I'm going to make a mistake and I can choose the opposite way. That's sick. That, that's a good card. That's true.
You had a good card. Sorry. Hat tricks. I don't know if, 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 if I'd have if I'd have been the judge right there, I totally would have gone for the the best skull ever. <laughs> <laughs> she she gives really good skull. <laughs> the best skull you ever done got. You ever got the best oh, skull. Yeah, thanks, I'm not I'm not oh gonna lie. God. Yeah, that was pretty good, bro. <laughs> was that was pretty good. I would have known. I would have gotten that America's card. America's next top murderer. Dude, those third, that third card really throws me off every time. Cause like, <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm so like preset with what I'm gonna say, and that uh -huh. shit just fucking throws me for a loop. <clears throat> All right, what we got here? I need to hide my drug stash, fellas. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I've got, I've got some stuff in some places, but I, I, I just need to hide this. Uh, I need to hide my drug stash. There you go. Okay. Oh, this is gonna go okay. deep as fuck. Okay. Oh, oh wait, I need to put these I'm, away. Y'all, I've got- Trigger I'm, warning on I am here. ready. I am ready. You need to hide your drug stash. Billy, Chevix, what you need is a Tickle Me Elmo. We all know <laughs> the best place to hide your drug stash is in the place nobody will ever look. Because who would destroy a Tickle Me Elmo? Those things are fucking collector's items. Because this ain't just a regular Tickle Me Elmo. This is a designer label Tickle Me Elmo. <laughs> so, once you, once you defrock said Elmo and shove said drugs up said Tickle Me Elmo's designer label <laughs> booty, you, nobody else... Well, they'll, they will not want to destroy a collector's item, Tickle Me Elmo. Why would they so ever want to do that? tuning into the stream. That's absolutely right. You just heard this man say <laughs> anally rape a Tickle D Me Elmo. I Continue. said defrock. That I used the, I used the, the, the correct... Anus area. <laughs> I used the correct uh, English Christian label, defrock. <laughs> and... Well, if it's Christian, then it's okay. The That's crazy okay. thing, Chavix, this Tickle Me Elmo gives eternal life but not eternal youth so you will be able to enjoy the benefits of your said drugs and designer tickle me elmo for ever enough said damn wow. ever. <laughs> that's exactly what i was going for <laughs> all right man <clears throat> uh let me ask you a question are you ready yeah Okay, I just want to make I'm sure you're ready. Okay, all right, I'm here we go. Okay, so, you got drugs, okay? <laughs> I don't want to know where they came from. I don't know what kind you have. I don't want to know anything, right? You don't want anyone else to know it all either, right? <laughs> all right, so, what I'm offering you here, the one thing about people hiding their drugs and they always get caught is because it's in the same place all the fucking time, and they can't move it fast enough without somebody finding it, right? Mm -hmm. So, what I'm offering you is a miniature fucking <laughs> wombat, okay? It's a ravenous. miniature wombat, okay? Ravenous. And this thing, yes, this fucking ravenous wombat opens up into a safe, okay? And you can put whatever you want in there and you close it back up and it flies away. And you have a fucking <laughs> monitor on your arm that allows you to push a button and it flies right back to you. No matter where you are in the world, it's a convenience that we're willing to offer you because we care just that much. All right. Now, the best benefit of this goddamn wallet is that it has a union contract. Okay. So it protects not only you, but also the other person on the other end. Oh. So if you want to re up and get yourself some more drugs, you don't have to go down there and see him. Okay. You just, just send the wombat. You just send the wombat. What's the worst that they can do to a wombat with a safe in it? <laughs> they can't fucking get a wombat. You know how hard it would physically be to catch a wombat? It would take at least yeah. two guys. Maybe exactly. three. If it's ravenous, I know it's pretty Allegedly. So what, you, Allegedly. <laughs> so what you tell them Allegedly. is to put it down in this particular place. You hit the button. You can look on your fucking watch and see the fucking product. You can pick the product up with the wombat. Bring it right back to you. No one ever knows who you are, where your shit is. And you're solved. Problem solved. So it's a robot wombat, then. Is it's a correct? ravenous robot wombat with fucking union abilities. All right, he hold on a second. Cubes like fucking Wally. -E. I just gotta say, I thought a wombat was a small flying rodent. Apparently, I'm looking on on our stream. I just googled what a wombat is. They're huge. That thing is fucking huge. <laughs> it's bigger than a They're fucking koala. This one's a miniature. It says on the card. 
They're much super. Yeah, I said miniature wombat. <laughs> a miniature. Oh, Steve seen... Irwin's wife. Hey. It is, it is, it is Steve Irwin's wife. Look at this. Their fucking... family's great. I love their family. Oh. Look at this wombat. I thought wombats had wings. Wombats do not have wings. <laughs> no, they're no, like... that fat fucker can't fly. My entire life, I didn't know what a wombat was. No, they're, they're fat, like... they eat shit, and they poop out cubes. And they're like inbred life. koalas. Today I learned. <laughs> but I do have a question, though. It's, it's really fast, right? And it's ravenous, so... Don't worry about it. <laughs> I think Ravenous makes it fast. Ravenous they're not, they're not gonna catch it. They're not gonna catch it. I think Let's if you're going you to a random back alley salesman for a wombat, at that point you just have to stop worrying. <laughs> <laughs> just gotta take what you get. Yeah, all right. you're like, all right, you're like, all right, whatever. Roll with the punches. <laughs> mm -hmm. The next right, step right. is like blowing someone in the back alley for a wombat. <laughs> so, Mister Mister Chavix, I. I... I'd like to introduce you to a, to a new, maybe a new concept. So drug dealers for a long time, they know one thing, and that is to never keep your drugs uh, near the point of sale, right? Now, I'm going to introduce you to a new concept, maybe not, a, maybe not the newest concept, but a new concept, and that is never keeping your drugs, drugs in one spot. And we're going to do that through the use of quadcopters, all right? <laughs> So you hook up your drugs to a quadcopter and you just fly it. You fly it far away. And whenever you need <laughs> it, you just fly away. it back to you. Those things are smart <laughs> enough to come back to you when you need them. Please, God, make me a quadcopter so I can fly far, far, far away. <laughs> now, now, let me tell you something about this quadcopter that you might love just in case you're sampling your own product. You might be hungry. <laughs> and this quadcopter comes with a side of fries. There you go. That's right. Boom. Your munchies are satisfied as soon as you buy this product. And then the third, uh, there's another feature uh, that you might like, you know, being someone who partakes or sells whatever you're, whatever you're interested in. It also deletes your records from every database you've ever existed in. So if you are in the police records, you're gone. They oh. don't know anything about you. No longer being tracked. They look you up. If you end up getting caught for whatever huh. reason, you have no prior records. And I think that is extremely valuable. <laughs> Brother ain't wrong. That's valuable. Well, then. Dozer, it's on you. Shit, after that. So we're, we're trying to get rid of drugs, huh? Well, yes, I, really. I, <laughs> hey, this, this, I need this guy in my corner. <laughs> so uh what's so, the problem is <laughs> so here's how we're gonna get rid of this right you might not like it, but we gotta get rid of it we gotta get rid of it quick are we gonna do that fucking dynamite best way to get rid of it it's gonna be in like 30 places at once <laughs> you know what's what's great about this is like just to make sure that it's like super quick and everything this shit's overly sensitive like, we don't even have to light it. We just insult it, and it just blows up. Uh, rapid distribution of drugs. <laughs> Next time I see you, Bill, I'm putting the M80 in your weed stand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God, man. I'd whip that ass so bad. <laughs> that ain't even funny. Hey, Bashful, what's going on? And uh, you know what? What's great about this overly sensitive dynamite is not o is it only sensitive, but it's fucking lucky. Like, lucky. It, it's going to help you keep out of jail. You know, you, that's the only reason why you try to get rid of them drugs. You don't want to get caught with something, Rufus. Well, guess what? This shit's going to get rid of it and make sure you don't get caught with it. Because it's your motherfucking <laughs> lucky dynamite, man. My M80 to oh. hide my stash. I love it. Hey, Boom. Javix. Patrick, have you gone yet? Nobody's got, okay. All right. Keep going. All right. So you got to hide drugs. Now, you're either hiding from cops or you're hiding from somebody else. And what better thing to have somebody not look into than a goddamn monster truck? Ain't nobody fucking with a monster truck. You put that shit in there. Number one, half the people can't even climb in there. Number two, you can get the fuck away because guess what? They don't have a fucking monster truck, so you fucking win. That's just how that is. If they don't have one and you have one, you win. You're going to run over them and you're going to get the fuck out of there. No big deal. Okay. And if you're not going to run over them, you know, you're just storing it in the monster truck. Guess what? 
You don't have to worry about no fucking dogs, because this fucking monster truck smells wonderful. <laughs> ain't nobody, no dogs come sniffing around your car. You hate that shit? Oh, we're going to call the canines. Call the fucking canines. I'll either run you over or I'll let fucking sniff. I don't give a shit. My car smells wonderful. And it's big as fuck. And then, just to top it off, it gives a nice foot massage. So while you're fucking sitting there getting all stoned up, you're getting a nice massage the whole time. I just see a win-win-win all here. Uh... Next person. Fuck it. Whenever they open the doors of this truck, it's gonna smell like success or pheromones. I want, I want this, I want that truck with every fiber of my being right now. Smell like I've success. never. Just it's got the pine North... tree. It's got the pine tree thing dangling from its mirror. Mirror. Yeah, right. And chrome rims. <laughs> chrome rims too. Fuck yeah. My little North Carolina heart's just beating for this truck. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Fired up. That's right. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, Melchior. Get him, Melchior. It's All right, you need bro. to hide your drug stash. So we're gonna go old school, and we're gonna we're gonna get into some repressed memories here, <laughs> and we're gonna, we're gonna hide your drugs back <laughs> back in time. <laughs> We're going to hide your drugs in your childhood. <laughs> okay? Now bear with me here. You're going to hide your drugs somewhere that you think your childhood self could find them, but your adult self could not. So you're going to reassemble your traumatized, shattered childhood. Because there's some assembly required. Jesus, Mary. You're going to reassemble your childhood when you need to find those drugs. <laughs> You might hide them in your childhood treehouse at your parents' house, or maybe where you used to bike with all your friends down by the mall where you'd buy your milkshakes. I don't know. I'm not your child. But you'll figure that out. Creepy. And what's what's really cool is that your childhood is uh, a bow with arrows flavored. <laughs> mm. So whenever you think back, you're like, hmm. Pain, but also accuracy. <laughs> Forearm trauma. And That's exactly how I think my my past is flavored. Yeah. Accuracy and pain flavored. Uh, uh, yeah, I have nothing else to say about that. All right. Well, gentlemen, I do believe I'm going with the marvelous miniature ravenous wombat. Uh, from Rush LLC. <laughs> You don't want a bow and nice. arrows flavored childhood? I, I, I don't want that forearm trauma. I... Lucky dynamite, you guys. Uh, unfortunately, I have to go. I think that Rush wins right there anyway. Yeah, I was just going to say, Rush, Rush got Technically, to three. by the rules, Rush has crushed it. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. Rush just Rush got, you the, got the silver tongue, my man. Nice. Okay. Well that. done. Hold that Thank w. you guys. Thank you guys. Yeah, Rush, you nice. you wrecked it in in your pitches, man. They were they were great. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, <laughs> the team <laughs> used the hardcore selling, baby. That's I, right. I liked I liked all the different ways you you bent some of the descriptions on the cards to whatever you were thinking. It was it was very creative. Absolutely, yeah. and that's seasonal. The, the seasonal planet was fucking. <laughs> the seasonal planet. <laughs> 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 That was good. You and then Melchior's. What was the one right after that? Was so fucking good. Uh oh the 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 eBay box the the coin the, the yes. pool table box yes the pool like it's like the season planet <laughs> and the pool table box was fucking <laughs> genius. Yeah, hats hats genius. Was so good. Uh, what are you playing, Hats? Where are you heading off to? Uh, I gotta go uh, play. I'm raiding with my Final Fantasy 14 group. Hell yeah, um, man. So oh, hey, go. nice. But hey, I, I, everybody added watching? I sent everybody friend requests. If y'all want to hit me up in the future, I'm down to play anything, anytime. I added uh, you as a friend, man. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. We can do some uh, more fun stuff in the future. Absolutely. For those Good of you watching, for those of you watching uh, Hatrix11 on Twitch, um, he's about to play Final Fantasy. Um, as, you've, Rush, as you've heard, he's a funny dude. He's a funny dude. And then I Rush, jokes. Rush, uh, he's a fantastic <laughs> Call of Duty uh, Warzone player. And that's what he's been and playing now, a lot lately. I play Yu-Gi-Oh. Right <laughs> now you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Look at that. Duelist of the Roses or Bust. Listen, bro. <laughs> uh, this guy, Itari, Itari Living Sacrifice. You'll never be able to spell my name, so you'll never find me. But, <laughs> but I do Half exist on Twitch. Half his name is Numbers. 
at doing sex on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, join the Discord if you really want to find out where my channel is. Just join the Discord, and uh, <laughs> and uh, Bill Dozer. He uh, does not exist on the internet. He's like QAnon. I think he is QAnon actually. Fuck you! <laughs> Literally, the only thing that exists on the internet is the picture of him in the the amber woodchuck. That's and, not uh, even me. That's one of my clones. That's, that's actually right. JFK Jr. And uh, Chavix, the androids. Chavix is a photographer. You can find him on Instagram and TikTok. He sings like an, an angel. Just only uh, fans. That's right. Fucks like a devil. That's yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Link your only fan, only fans in our Discord channel, please. And, uh, I'll pizza. link my only fans in there. It's just nudes of me <laughs> and my belly button. Well, that's all I wanted from you. If really. that's what that's you guarantee, I'll be there. That's all we needed. Clinton, like, that's I right. Like he consistency. Pizzas. Just, if, uh, if, if I'm getting consistent belly button shots, count me in. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make one tonight. Put you away. <laughs> With, like two belly button photos. Be like, expect one next month. All right, gentlemen. Oh, I'm out of here. All right, have man. a good night. All right. I'm out as well. Thank you guys for inviting me. It was Thank cool. you guys. Hey, that game yes. is awesome, by the way, Milford. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, yeah, I had so much guys. fun. I appreciate yeah. it a lot. We should, I would do this again, so just... Please, yeah, yeah let us know. Thank you so much. Absolutely. I, I, hope, I hope sometime in the future we can get together in person and play. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. The next MAGFest. The next MAGFest. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ideally, MAGFest 2022. There you um, go. All right, guys. Peace out. All right, y'all. Peace. Peace. peace.